okay but in uh, like in actually so right now here it is working uh, because of the light but in actual cases we need satellite we need satellite that to receive the signal okay you can do it like this but there is no receiver to uh, there is no receiver to receive the signal right so that's why it can't work so what we have to do is like there's a sender and receiver they send the message is he said i say if i send you hi right in your what's the message if i send you hi they will code it code it like in their own method like in different method is there right they will code it and send the signal to the satellite satellite receive this signal and they convert this into the original message at i hi and then there you will get the real message Yes, in this photo it presents of salt, right? Yes. Salt. Okay, look at here. So it presents of the salt. Salt means it's a sodium chloride, right? Yes. So it presents of the sodium chloride. So when you pass the electric current, what will happen? The sodium chloride is break down. Okay. Break down into the like this. Okay. So now here you can see the ions. So ions means I told you presence of the discharges, right? Here presence of the positive charge and here is the negative charge. Now they are become the ions. So like if you multiply, if you okay, if you added this this by four times, okay. So first you need to count how many cubes are there in each of these here, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, right? So there are sixteen cubes are there, right? Sixteen plus again another sixteen. Plus again this 16, this 16, okay. Plus and another 16 is there, right? Okay. So when you add them all together, then that means you will get the 64. Okay. So that means, okay. So that means when you mandu, <laughs> that means the cube number of four is the cube number 64. change all the sign within this bracket you remember this thing yeah okay, so this one is right now this is not complete circuit is not complete so that's why you can see bulb is not glowing right okay so now what i need to do is i need to on switch on okay so for that i need to bring it like this so here you can see that bulb is glowing right can you see that Yes. The bulb is glowing, right? Okay, now if I did this, again look at here, bulb is not glowing, right? So what you have to do is, this is switch on. Okay, switch on means you are going to this turn, right? So this is switch on, the bulb glows. Switch off means turn.
This is a hole. This is a square. The one side of the square is known as A, and another side of the square is also known as A. So we are going to write it like this. Eh, like this. But if you want to find the area of these of the A, A I mean the square, we're going to do this. A into A is equal to A square. So this is the area of this whole square. It's going to be A A. This is another square, but this is smaller than the a square, and the size of these this these this square is b. So to find the area, we are going to multiply b into b is equal to b square. Now we know their names. This is a square and this is b square. Now we're going to place them like this, and I'm going to replace one side of the a square. And I'm going to replace it with an AB with this rectangle. Okay, okay. Now, so, uh, before you place this rectangle, what is the area of this figure? The area of the figure before I replace it is A square plus B square. Okay, right now A square plus B square. A square plus B square. Okay, now you can replace this by uh, this rectangle. Yes. Since this is going to be. I'm replacing this with a new rectangle and we form a new shape. But we do not know the side, uh, the side of the new shape or the portion which is left. So we're going to be doing this. Since the side of the since the breadth of this rectangle is exactly as B and the length is exactly as A, I'm going to write this. A minus B. A minus B equals to 2ab, I think.